As you can see, I've got a little bit of pallet wood. I need to move it somewhere. So we're going to take all that pallet wood and we're going to put it up here. We're going to utilize these brackets that I've built in the past. Yet these particular ones require open framing construction. Now if you have a finished room, you could put these on the drywall. However, you would probably have to cut some holes or make some different provisions in order for this to work. The beauty of this system, which is, I believe, to be the strongest shelving brackets you can put on a wall, for the simple fact that they are balanced normally on a bracket when there's an overhang, it's going to pull away from a wall. So the beauty of this triangular system is as you push down from the overhang, it's literally pushing on the little knee braces, which then is going to pull the weight straight down. This makes for a much more stable bracket system. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. This is the first side, and then over here we'll do another one. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see how it goes on this first one. I might do it on each side of here. Um, originally it was going to be between this stud and that stud. I shouldn't say between. Actually, the way this works is we'll run a board from the outside here straight out and on the outside here straight out that way your triangular piece that comes down is inside but then runs straight into here that's what helps give it that perfect triangle of being pushing straight against here and then you run a board across here that's your knee brace so we're gonna pretty much match all of the rest all the others so we're gonna come out 18 inches and then on both sides and then you have a face board and then we have the angle brackets and then you wedge in. I actually attach the knees. These angles, technically the angle bracket, you don't even have to attach it. It can be in there and wedged in such a way and it works perfectly fine. I'm gonna screw it in though, of course, at least on the top. It'll be screwed in at the bottom. It's just gonna be wedged against. Kind of look over here on this one. As you can see, the little knee part, that's screwed to the stud. This part right here, it's not screwed to anything. It's just wedged in place. By the angles you cut to match, I mean, it's perfectly fine. As you can see, I even cut across at the bottom so it's sitting flat, not a point into the knee brace. You want that to be flat, and then you've got the best strength and rigidity. So, yeah. Let's see. Nothing like being 10 feet up off of the ground. Uh, okay, hopefully we won't fall. So yeah, if you've got one, or if you don't have one, go to the 99 cent store and get you one of these levels. It works pretty good. I need to check it again because one side I think sits a level while the other side doesn't. So of course, you get what you pay for. However, the beauty of using this is when you're doing something like this up high, I don't care if I drop this, if it breaks, oh well, 99 cents. Not like you paid 40 or 50 for one of those expensive. Oh, and tip number two is pre-drill and countersink down below before you come up here. It make a life a lot easier when you're trying to put the screw in. The other nice thing about when you do it this way is it's easier to know how high to go. See how I got this like fire break here? You just rest it right on top. Goodness, wrong bit. Okay. 
Okay. If you have a smaller drill, then it, this would be no problem for you. Yeah, to me, that's probably the hardest part of the whole thing is getting these two up. So basically, this is how this works. We're going to take and that are square. We're going to want 45 degrees. That's a given. So what you do is we're going to slide this along so we make contact with the wall. Now, obviously, we need to cut the bottom. So before I go any further, I'm going to get the bottom cut, and then that shows us where to cut at the top. You could assume the top is also cut out of 45, but, you know, I'm not going to count on the fact that I did a perfect job on these. So by doing it that way, we make sure that the corner, because I like it to be flush with this top here, just gives you that much more support in case you want to add a board. Like you could put then a board on top of this to give yourself um, that much more rigidity. And also if you have smaller items, you don't want stuff falling through. So I personally like to leave it open. It gives you more options in case later on you want to hang something from these. They're all open. You don't have the floor in the way. In the way. So, all right, let me get this trimmed up and we'll come right back to this. Okay, just got done making Two of the sketchiest cuts ever, about here. Okay. We're getting there, folks. It's a very good idea to countersink, at least on the little knee brace cleats here. It's still level, that's nice. Okay, now we just gotta put a piece across the front. And I always wait to the last to do that because that measurement will vary depending on how much, as we notice, they're twisting and bowing out. Bracket one is done. Whew. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get the second one done. And then we'll meet back up and finish this video. Okay, well, I finished it. Now it's time to load all the wood up onto the shelf. Uh, I'm not gonna enjoy that part. I was mentioning how I consider this um, for open frame construction. It's just easiest to do and quickest on open frame. However, if you have a finished wall and there's drywall up or whatever, or any kind of paneling, instead of poking holes or anything like that, what you can simply do, find the studs and this would get screwed to two studs. Now you've got a, a side to nail to. So anyways, I hope you liked this video and found it informative. Uh, if you have any comments or questions and concerns, <laughs> please leave them in the comment section below. And I will try to draw up some little plans just to give you a better visual. Maybe do a little sketch up for anybody who wants them. Now, if you don't see them right away, then don't hesitate to nudge me. Um, I got a lot of sketch up work I need to be getting done for some of my previous projects. If you like this video, smash that like button. Till next time, you take care.